Hi, my name is Leslie Hendrickson. I'm with the Newburyport Literary Festival. We are looking forward to our second day of programming on Sunday, May 3rd. We start at nine o'clock and we're going to be talking to Dyke Hendrickson, who has a new book out called New England Coast Guard Stories, Remarkable Mariners. Dyke, I heard that there was a name change in this book. Can you tell me a little bit about that process? Yes, well, this is the book, New England Coast Guard Stories, Remarkable Mariners. Uh, initially, it was New England Coast Guard Stories, Remarkable Patriots. But the promo team came back and said, for online searching, if, we, if you put New England and Patriots in the same line, everyone's going to get the football team, and no one's going to even find your book. So it went from Patriots to Mariners, but I think it conveys the same thought. I also wanted to ask you how you're staying productive during the pandemic. Well, I'm writing a new book that's called Merrimack, The Resilient River. And I've done a lot of the research already, more of it I can do online. Uh, so I'm writing a thousand words a day, um, it, mostly in a historical fashion, because I can't go to archives right now, I can't go to libraries. So I'm doing the historical part now, and then when this passes, I'll be able to interview people, go to some of the museums and archives and get a little more done. So it's, all, it's also a nautical book. It's on the great Merrimack River and I'm enjoying it. Another question, what do you, what would you say, which book would you say has had the most influence on, on you as a writer and as a historian? Well, one book I liked was Team of Rivals by Doris Kearns Goodwin. It's about President Lincoln and how he chose his cabinet during the Civil War and how he actually ran the government. And what I liked about it is there are many, she used many different sources and many of the sources were women, uh, perhaps the wives, perhaps other people on the scene. And I found by um, getting more viewpoints and more reactions to the war <clears throat> and to the running of it, was a great thing. She must have sourced over 100 people, many of them women, and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And, you know, I've listened to it on tape, you know, at least a dozen times, and I learn something every time. So to me, that's um, a yardstick of a good book when you can read it again and learn more anew. All right, one more question for you. What's the first thing you're going to do when the shutdown ends? Well, I think one thing I might do, I live in Newburyport, and I might go to the Thirsty Whale, which is a, a tavern and a restaurant here in Newburyport. It has a nautical theme. Um, there's a lot of Coast Guard signs on the wall. And I may have a beer with some of the people there as we talk about how good it is to be outside and uh, to be able to see people again. After that, I think I'll get in the car, um, go to Gloucester, go to some of the ocean areas here in Massachusetts and then probably head to Maine. We used to live in Portland, Maine. There are many Coast Guard venues and, and many ocean sites there. So first of the thirsty whale, and don't worry, it'll be the next day when I go to Maine. But I'm looking forward to going you know, to Gloucester and then up to Portland, Maine. Great, well, thank you so much for joining us. And we're looking forward to your presentation on Sunday where you'll have slides and um, tell us more about your book, New England Coast Guard Stories. The New Report Literary Festival has a whole day of events on Sunday. We start at nine o'clock. Please go to our website, newburyportliteraryfestival.org for a whole lineup. And we hope to see you there. Thanks so much and take care.